guys welcome back to my channel for those who are new my name is jojo and uh, on this channel i do take you thrifting auction and uh, once in a while i do share what i'm doing in my space so if any of these topics is of interest to you kindly consider hitting the subscribe button below so in today's episode i'll be taking you guys as i make over my coffee station and the last time i did my coffee station was two years ago but since i'm uh, making over the kitchen i thought it would be a good way to juice up the coffee station from what it used to be before so maybe i can um, share a video here of how the coffee station was and then um i can show you now what my coffee station is going to be so this space behind is where i'll be having my coffee station so when you walk in right when you walk in this is the first counter space that you're going to see in this kitchen so i'm starting on a blank slate i want to change up everything because i don't love the tiles behind and also the tiles on the countertop so first things first is uh covering up the counter space i'll have to bend and be in this awkward uh, position so that i can be able to be in frame and i show you the counter top so this is uh, what i'll be covering up with this marble contact paper that i got from malika home depot and what i love most about this marble paper is the prints it's not too busy it's not like the marble papers that you see online because this one resembles like the marble tile and uh, that is what i love about it it's so minimalist in terms of the print on it and this will be the perfect fit since i don't want anything busy on uh, the counter space so that they don't compete with everything else that i'll be putting on so let's get started with um putting this onto the counter top so i've decided since i'm only covering the bottom part i'll um there were two options so option one is um i can do like this but now the issue is it will not cover up until this side so i'll have to cut another piece of the contact paper so that I can place it at the bottom and uh, I don't think it will be a neat work so I'm thinking I'll go with this other option so I'll um, put one side here and then this one here so I'll cut it up until this point and what I love what I love again about the contact paper is it has grit at the bottom so it is easy for you to cut so you just follow the line and you'll have a straight cut so let's get started with that it fits perfectly so i'll start with uh, this side so that if i have any remnants they were going to spill over this side because it's easier working with a spillage on this side as opposed to having excess paper on this other side so i'll have to get my cut this is what i'll be using to squeegee the contact paper and uh, one thing i forgot to mention make sure your counter space is uh, clean so i did this prior and uh, it's dry
the contact paper is all done so this side and um, on the countertop so the next thing I'm going to do is uh, change up this side so I did get um, they are called what sticker yeah it's a sticker decor but I did get so my plan was to have the gold side of the sticker paper at the front but after I did like a mock-up uh, setup with the silver side I love the silver side more than the gold and uh, I'm so lucky that uh, I can use the silver side though it is the back side but you can tell though it won't have it will not be protruding like the way the gold side is if you can see but uh, since it will be at the back no one will tell no one will notice the difference so what i'll do is um there are some tape that i'm going to use with this and then later i'll put on the coffee sign at the top so let's get to putting the sticker so first thing first i'm going to just place them so that i can see how i'm going to stick them and uh, definitely i need to do a little bit of cutting so that's why i'm doing the rough placement so i can be able to see where i'm supposed to add and um where i am going to to mount them so i'm not sure if uh, these stickers are going to work i've not used them before but uh, from the look of things it's double-sided same but now it is in, in stripes and this will be a lot of work I'm thinking I can even use my double sided tape because this one is let me show you how it is it's very thin so I have to do this for all of these so that's why I'm saying it's a lot of work so I think I just have to take my the normal double sided tape that I'm used to because at least it's bigger and I can be able to use it well but let's see, let me use a little bit of this and then I can see if I'll need to get the my double sided tape. I think I'll just have to use my normal double-sided tape because this one will take a long a lot of time to peel all of this and stick them there so let me get my tape and uh, we we'll continue from here so I've done like half or a quarter of it so now what I want to do is I want to put up my coffee sign so that I can see where it's supposed to start and end so that I can be able to know which other places I'm going to put on the sticker so I was not decided so I did three of them so this is a DIY that I did for the coffee for the coffee sign but I was not sure which color would go well with the whole setup so I did this this was uh, this is brown like brown and gray and then the other one is a uh, dark brown and uh, this is white and uh, the last option is 
edge i think i uh, from the way i've just put it up like this i know which one i'm going to use but i was torn i didn't know which color would go well but i think this one this one is a winner because it, it will go very well with there black and white knobs and the black and white theme that is going on in the kitchen so for this i'm going to place it here yeah so i think that's where it's supposed to start or, uh, no 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 that one will be a bit far so i think i can do from uh, that tile to this tile so those ones are three tiles so if i'm doing three tiles i don't know if it should be up no it should be it should start here yeah so it will be edge of the three tiles so the space in between here and also on this other side between the board and the last tile so i'm going to cut this one so i think it will be now but then i have two of these extras so this is what i'm going to cut and uh, stick it up and then the next thing we're going to do is the coffee sign I'm going to use my hot glue gun and uh, the double sided tape so I'm going to alternate do glue gun hot glue hot glue and um, the tape so far I love love how the coffee station is coming around Ish. it's so nice i love the black and white against the white and the silver so for these other two i'll be selling them so if you're interested you can uh, dm me on ig so there's this option and then there's uh, this brown one so since we are done with the setup the next thing is now styling it First things first, I'm going to use this tear dressing uh, stand to style my cup. So some of the cups, my favorite cups that I love using, using the most, are going to be here. And then the good thing is, this is where all my cups are, so it is easy for me. So anytime I'm having tea or coffee, I can just be able to pick any cup from here. So. What I'll be using is, uh, I think I'll uh, use this because it's gold. And I uh, love my J cup also. And then love yourself. Mm -hmm. And then I can have maybe like a clear cup i can have this one and um let's start with that and then i see if I, oops, sorry if i'll need to add on any more cups so the j's are going to be at the bottom i think i can get another j And then I can get one more. I can have like this to be at the back. This is uh, too big. Maybe I can have the galbo cup. 
Yeah, that one is perfect. But the that one it will be at the edge. It will not be seen anyway. So and then I'll have your love yourself. But the thing is, if you if you're ordering for this resin cake stand, maybe for a cake stand, yes, for maybe if you're having maybe like cupcakes, you can do that. But I would not recommend it for placing your cups because it's so thin and um, it's light. I don't think it can manage to hold a lot of cups. And then, like the top tier, there's nothing much you can do with it because there's no cup that is going to fit. But I'll find something to use with that. Next, I'm going in with my mirrored tray. I did get this from my Gikomba. So this is what will hold my coffee, sugar, and everything else. So next goes my tray. And I got this crystal jug or pitcher, if you would like to call it that, from Gikomba. This was a while back. And uh, this is what will be, I'll be using like my flower vase. I got this from Lux Home Decor. I hope I got it right. Yes, so this is So this is my flower vase And it will go at the corner Right there And then the next thing will be my this is my coffee. I got this from Sparkle by Amira. I'm going to link everyone in the description box below. So that's where my coffee will be. And then I need to empty my sugar in such a container. So let's do that next. My sugar. And uh, let me get us. I did buy this jars from Ozen Ant when they did have the annual sale, but this was like I think like three years ago when I was doing my that was even before I did my pantry. So this is where I'll empty the sugar. You'll have to forgive the angle because I can't be in frame and also show you the part of the countertop. That I'm styling so that's why I'm in this awkward position so the next thing is uh, putting my frother in my stand so that one goes right here and then here I want to put my whisking kettle I don't have a coffee machine because I don't really think that that need for me to have them because I have the French press I do have the pour over and um, now the kettle so for my coffee I need something simple and this this is where I'll place my kettle so I'll uh, this is where I'll have my whistling kettle so anytime I need to boil water for coffee or tea this is what I'll be using so the next thing I'll be styling right next is my coffees because um in the evening i like to take tea sorry tea tea is the next thing that i'm styling because in the evening i like to take tea after you've had a long day and you need something to calm your nerves and relax you tea does it for me and uh let me show you how i'll be styling my tea i'll be using this acrylic tea organizer that I got from Trendy Trinkets on IG and this is where I'll uh, organize all the teas that I do have so I love ginger and lemon from Kericho Gold so I'll be styling that so maybe I can think I can take you lower so that you can be able to see exactly what I'm doing
So I have organized all my teas. So this is how cute it looks. And for that, I'll be using this mirror tray that I have had for so long that I thrifted from Donho. And this will hold my acrylic tea organizer like that. So on this other side, I'll, uh, I need teaspoons definitely for scooping my sugar and also coffee. So this is going to be here. And then uh, this small honey 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 jar that I got from uh, Gikomba. This is how it looks. So this is going to be on this side. And then I have the bigger version of the honey jar that I got from Thrifts and Finds on IG and also the Inkilimani. This will be at this point. So this is everything for my coffee station. Let me give you a closer look. One thing that I almost forgot at this Costas, racing costas that I got from Wood Gone KE. And uh, these ones are going to be somewhere here. So, anytime I need to make my coffee or tea, I'll be using them. And then I can do my thing. So, that is it. For the coffee station theme is the putting on the light and let there be light. So this is a warm light, so it gives the warm ambience to the whole place. It warms up the coffee station area. Now let me give you the real close-up. Told me that I always had to be good But being good always been problems, it's true So I learned it, I learned it And now I know I don't wanna play it, play it, play it But then I'm crazy, I'm crazy But I know I'm baby, it's true, yeah So that is all for today's episode. If you did like the video, give it a big, big, big thumbs up. Share it with your friends who you think might enjoy or are um, looking for inspiration to make their coffee or tea session with their homes. And uh, if you have not subscribed kindly, hit the red subscribe button below and uh, join the family. What are you waiting for? So I'll see you next week with now the rest of the kitchen as I reveal to you how the rest of the kitchen looks like. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.